What's up everybody, my name is Lefko, and today I'm here to show you my latest and greatest build. Uh, I haven't exactly come up with a name for it, but let's just call it the Iron Golem Reserver and Automatic Killing Machine thingy. Yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, the way that it works is that it uses an iron golem farm and this particular one is made by JL2579 really nice guy you guys should check him out uh, this it just connects directly to a farm and you put it right on top of it and from there it takes care of itself it sorts them out in the way that it goes like this here I'll, I'll show you so this uh, these things over here are to symbolize iron golems spawning so there Let's, that's one spawning right over there. So, he'll go down the hole, and he'll fall all the way down. And what happens is, he goes down into the first cell, and it covers up the first cell, so that way the next iron golem can go into the second cell. And down here, the first cell is turned on. So, I'll just fill it up really quick. And once one side is completely full... Here, that should work unless these two idiots decide that they want to bump into each other. Nope, we're good. They're not stupid. So, see? Watch what happens. Is that once one goes down, he turns it on. And then the second one goes down. And he pulls the trip wire. And all three are, f are turned on. So once, that, once this is completely full, this comes up and the other side turns on. Ready to fill up. Uh, it's ready to hold another three iron golems, so we'll do that really quick. One, two, three. Please don't be idiots. Okay, good. We don't we don't have complete idiots for once. And see, number one goes down. Turn it on. Number two. Oh, we're gonna have a little issue here. Up oh, or not? Number two goes down. And then number three, if he would like to go all the way down, goes down. And see what happens. These two, these are, the, this is called the reserver side. These both are reservers. And over here is what I'd like to call the automatic weakening and killing system. It does use a little bit of lava just to kill them. Uh, approximately 15 blocks, I believe. And brings them into this little area. So, since I'm far too lazy to, for, to wait for them to spawn... We're just going to spawn a few in ourselves, so we'll do one more, I guess, just to prove a point. Okay. And once the idiots decide, see, he automatically gets weakened. Ah, it's loud. I'm just going to back up a bit, wait for them to get all the way over there. So that little flame is them. They go down. Come on, buddy, you can hurry up. There we go. And so we have two iron golems in there. And now let's run over to the control panel really quick. And as you can see, every single light is on. Cell 1, cell 2, all the way up to cell 6 is filled. So if I wanted to grab one, I could do that. And the killing chamber is also full. But let's say I didn't, want to I didn't want to kill the guys in the killing chamber. I just want to take one out. So fine, I'll take, one, I'll take one, the first one from cell 1 out. And as you can see, it says it's empty. There he goes. And yeah. He goes down that water stream and into the, the abyss for now. And what happens is... Oh, well, that was convenient. The guy just managed to naturally spawn. But it resets itself and closes that and opens this. Here, I'll show that to you again if you didn't see it because that was really quick. And... There we go. And there he goes. So, see... It pulls that and opens this, so that way the first guy can go down. And even if you open up the second one, he would just fall right in in there and everything will work out fine. So the way that it works is that if we go to the small little... It's very, very simple redstoning. It's a triple land gate uh, for each reserver side. So once all these are off, then this turns on, which closes its corresponding side and turns one side of this off this this leads to the killing chamber 
So see, this symbolizes that one is empty. So one is empty. But if we were to put one more in, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just showing this really quick and let him go down. So this torch should turn off when he reaches his, when he makes his way over here. And you'll notice that this turns off as well. And there you go. You could saw, you see all the pistons work. So really it works through three AND gates and just some simple redstoning. And the killing chamber is also quite simple considering the fact these guys are a two by two by three. So you can, and here I'll just, I'll just quickly show you all this. So we'll flick all of them just to show you how well this thing handles everything. If I could push the buttons. And we'll kill the guys over there. And you'll notice now everything is empty. And there are pretty iron golems. And where is our loot? There it is. There's our loot. And because of 1.3, all the items have grouped together. But I assure you, they there is a lot of them. So we'll just we'll just wait till it gets over here. And once that comes over here, and our iron golems here they are, all six of them. They're all just gonna die now. It's a very simple system of them just falling to their terrible, terrible deaths. Oh, here's our iron. Six iron. You thought, you know, I thought it would be more than that. Well, anyway, uh, anyway, guys, that was everything I wanted to get across in this video. Oh, so long got filled again. Screw you. Uh, <laughs> my name is Lefko, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.